This is Darshna Gautchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 28, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up again for its fourth straight day. Today, the index was up by 1.90 points or 0.46% to 414.14. Total trade volume was still light, but up from yesterday to 92,498 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 577.3 million Khmer real or roughly 140,600 US dollars. On the main board, five stocks were up with Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ leading the market, up 1.38% or 30 real to 2,210 real per share. Cam GSM followed in second, up 0.82% or 20 real to 2,450 real per share. Other stocks up were the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority, Pestec Cambodia, and Ekleda Bank. Meanwhile, three stocks were down. The Phnom Penh Autonomous Port was down 0.47% or 60 real to 12,780 real per share, while the Scenicville Autonomous Port and Grand Twins International were also down. The only stock on the main board that remained flat was MJQ Education. Over on the growth board, JS Land was up by 4.89% to 3,650 real per share, while DBD Engineering was up 0.48% or 10 real to 2,080 real per share. The trade volume leader of the day was Ekleda Bank, with 51,323 shares changing hands at a total value of 388.8 million real, or roughly 94,599 US dollars, accounting for around 35% of all shares traded on June 27th. JS Land on the growth board came in close second, accounting for 34.9% of all trades on the main and growth boards combined, with 50,812 shares traded at a value of 159.9 million real, or around 38,900 US dollars. In other market news, Royal Railway PLC announced the interest payment for its guaranteed bonds in June 2024 with a 5% coupon rate per annum. The total interest payment for Royal Railway's 984,000 bonds is over 1 million US dollars, and the company announced that the payment was made to all investors on June 24th. The Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority also announced the construction of the third phase of the Bakheng Water Production Facility, which will add a production capacity of 195,000 cubic meters of water per day. On June 25th, Phase 2 of the water production facility was officially inaugurated, along with the groundbreaking of Phase 3. Once all three phases of the new water facility are completed, it is expected that it will have the capacity to produce 580,000 cubic meters of clean water per day. All three phases of the water facility are constructed by French company Vinci Construction Grand Projects, with supervision from the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority and technical assistance from Safij Consulting Engineers. CAMGSM, meanwhile, also issued a disclosure notice of the results of the company's annual general meeting of shareholders held online on June 28th. A total of 32 shareholders attended the meeting, representing over 1.9 billion shares, which accounts for 99.53% of total voting shareholders. The company announced that shareholders approved a number of key decisions, including the distribution of a guaranteed minimum dividend until the next general meeting of shareholders without yet announcing the exact amount, and the issuance of additional equity securities on the stock exchange of Thailand. The Khmer real to USD strengthened slightly to 4,108 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly up to 105.99. Oil prices rose on Friday and were on a course for a third straight weekly jump, buoyed by growing expectations that the US Federal Reserve will soon start cutting interest rates and US inflation data due later in the day. Brent crude futures for August settlement, which expire on Friday, were up 54 cents, or 0.63%, to 86.93 US dollars a barrel. The more liquid September Brent contract was up 0.7% at 85.87 US dollars a barrel. Gold prices were little changed but were poised for a third straight quarterly rise, while investors await the same US inflation data. Spot gold was nearly unchanged to 2,328.42 US dollars per ounce. Prices have gained about 4% for the quarter. US gold futures edged 0.1% higher at 2,338.80 US dollars. US stock futures were mostly higher on Friday as the market neared the end of the first half of the year. Futures for the Dow Jones Industrial Average were up 38 points or 0.1% after the index eked out a 36 point gain on Thursday to finish at 39,164. S&P 500 futures advanced 0.3%, with contracts tracking the tech-heavy Nasdaq composite up 0.4%. The yield on the benchmark 10-year U.S. Treasury note hovered above 4.3%. This was Darshan Agauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 28th. Have a great weekend!